StreamYard and EVMux are both web-based broadcast platforms, and they released a feature of the same name within weeks of one another, but they are completely, I mean completely different. Video trimming in StreamYard is a welcomed repurposing tool allowing you to create clips of your live show while video trimming in EVMux is part of the production studio, enabling you to play shortened video clips into your live show. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at video trimming, both the StreamYard and EVMux versions. First up, we'll look at StreamYard. I'm on my StreamYard dashboard and Quick tip, if you wanna learn how to make your StreamYard look, uh, have a dark mode feel, uh, let me know in the comments and I might do an extra video on that one. But I'm on the StreamYard dashboard right now and where you go to find video trimming and video splitting, there's two features uh, embedded in one in that we want to showcase here in StreamYard uh, is 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 right here off of the dashboard, actually. So you on this side of the dashboard, we have broadcast videos, destinations, members. We want to actually go to videos, right? Your video library. We go into videos and in the video library, you have all the videos that you have previously streamed live on your StreamYard account. So I'm just going to go into the first one here, which is the uh, 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 unboxing from Amazon Live. Uh, so as soon as I go into it, it starts to load to be able to play the video. You'll also see at the bottom, you have a list of cloud recordings. And the first one says, of course, original recording. We have, of course, the status on that one is complete. We have the trim option, which is what we're going to really look into. We can download this video. And then, of course, we have some options here to share and schedule as in another broadcast. Um, you can actually do look at the video here on this main screen, but better to click the trim button, which brings up the dialogue for the trimming feature. This dialogue will appear and when it does, you will see some options here, right? So you have a timeline and you can drag the outer edges in. Uh, let's say you want to trim off the countdown clock. I always start my show with a countdown clock so I can quickly and easily just kind of trim that down. You can see I'm counting it down there. Of course, now, now that I've gotten to four seconds, I've still wanted to be a little exact. So I'm going to click on that blue bar right there, right where my, 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 my mouse is. I'm going to click on that and then use the keyboard to just gently move it forward a little bit slower than I can with my mouse. And there you can see, I can bring it right to the beginning of the show. Boom, right about there. Let's say I want to trim that. I can click to save this as a new video and this video would be right underneath the original recording and I can save it to whatever name I want. Um, I can also trim off the other end as well and it'll show me what I'm trimming so I can see some of the things that we're looking at here and I could possibly trim off some of those pieces as well. But in addition to that, let's say I wanted to grab out a clip in the middle of the video so I can uh, go to right to 30 minutes, which is right where I started the unboxing right at 30 minutes and I'm gonna click that and just kind of use the arrow key to go out a little bit to go to right to the beginning of the unboxing. So right there, see where we get to 30 right there. So I want it to be right here. And I believe the end of the unboxing was right around 52 minutes. So I'm looking on the top one right here, right? I'm looking at the top time right here uh, to see where that 52 minute mark is. And we got 52 minutes right there. So I'm going to click it and just kind of arrow my way forward a little bit. And I think I put the yeah, put that top back on and the unboxing is pretty much done. So now I have the clip just of the unboxing. I can save this as a brand new clip or <laughs> I can click into the clip itself, the clip that I just created and click split. Maybe there's a piece of that clip that I don't want included in this uh, this this video that I'm going to create and download so I can click split. Now I can actually say, all right, this part, I, this this section here is the part I don't want. And I can adjust these two and these two separate clips now become one clip. Uh, that will be saved into my list and I can repurpose that and use that for later. So there's video trimming and video splitting. I'm going to give you an example of that uh, right now. 
this is another video, a client show, Let's Talk Money. And so here I have some examples of this. The processing time uh, when you click to save those videos takes a little bit. So I wanted to speed that up for you uh, by doing that ahead of time. And so here's a clip with no countdown, right? So here I named it the name of the show and I just put no countdown. So if I click to play this one, so the countdown clock is gone. And what, what we start with is the actual intro video for the client's show. So client show starts and we move into the actual content for the show. So that is one. And you will see that I still have the ability to trim even new clips that I've created. So that's one, the no countdown. Here's one that's a tithe clip, but you're gonna see- Tithing and giving offering. All right, so, okay, that. they're already talking. But you're gonna see in just a second, that we we this clip is two clips put together. So you'll see just now. Boom. And so it puts the two clips together. Now, of course, you're gonna need to know exactly, you know, where to make that uh, seamless, to make that make sense. Uh, but um, there's so, you know, as long as you know what the timestamp is, you can go right to that timestamp, make those clips, make those splits and you end up with a, a new video that you can repurpose and use in multiple different ways. Um, what I also want you to know is that you can do this in multiple multiple times. So I'm gonna click trim here. Um, I'm gonna click into this long video. I'm gonna hit split. Uh, so then I have this one, I have this one. Um, I'm gonna click into this one, I'm gonna hit split again. Now I have this one, I have this one. I'm gonna click into this one, click split again. And now I have, you know, this other one and this one. So here we actually have, what, four different clips that we're gonna mash up and make into one video. And that is the power of video trimming and video splitting in StreamYard. The power of video trimming and video splitting in StreamYard. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like in EVMux. So here we are in EV Mux and we're on the dashboard and already this is where the two features kind of uh, take different paths. They're both called video trimming, but in two totally different ways. So for StreamYard, it was in the video library section, which in, in EV Mux would be kind of like your recording section. If, as you can see in my recordings, while I don't have any recordings here, you, the feature is not in this place. It's not in this space. So the feature is actually inside the studio. So we're gonna go into the studio. Uh, we're gonna go into my midweek huddle studio that we already have open over here. Here's my midweek huddle studio. Nothing really special done here, just a flyer up on the screen. I'm going to create a pro scene. Pro scenes is where the feature exists. So I'm gonna create an empty default pro scene. In fact, I'm even gonna rename it to video something or other, video trimming. All right, let's rename it to that so that it makes sense. We're gonna add a new layer right here. Click to add a new layer. We're going to select from media files and we're gonna select one of my longer videos. This is an 11 minute, 55 second video that was one of the speaker videos. And you can see immediately, we can edit the video from here, but we can also click here on the video to click the trim button. All right, so I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna pause this video, go back, hit the trim button. All right, let's just do that one more time, too fast. So we have the video, we've added that to the pro scene. We can click into the video itself, just click anywhere on the video itself. And then up on the top section here, where your options are, this 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 uh, scissors icon has been added, and we can see that says trim video. That says trim video. So we're gonna click on that, and you can trim the video down to whatever you'd like. So let's say you just wanna play a very small clip of this video. You can trim that video down to whatever section of the video you want to play and just hit done and it edits it right there so i can come back to my dynamic scene when i'm ready for it i can go to this scene and it immediately goes to that part of the video plays it through and then you can come back to your dynamic scene right or to whatever your next scene is or you can have it set to go to the next scene by by auto advancing really cool feature uh that will be useful i mean sometimes you want to play a little clip just for emphasis just to uh highlight maybe a guest a project or something like that so this feature would be really good and again we just go to the video itself we 
let's pause this. We can clip, go click on the trim, trim video section, and then we can actually edit it here. But if we wanted to edit another section of this video, we would just call this one maybe clip one, call the other one clip two, add the same video to a different pro scene, and you can actually play another clip from the same video. So several ways to get this done. I'm interested to hear your comments and your thoughts on both of these features. Who did it better, you might ask? Well, since it's clear that they are totally different features, that answer depends on which one you need more. For my StreamYarders, they've dropped the ultimate repurposing tool with video trimming slash video splitting, making it possible to download clips for shorts, reels, short form content for other platforms, embed it on your website or share a direct link. For my EV Mux fam, you can add long videos to the studio and play just a 30 second clip into your live show leveling up your production quality. Two great features from two great platforms. And as consumers, guess what? We are the true winners. Learn more about StreamYard and EVMux in these videos. <laughs>